What is going on guys, Connor here. And in today's video, I'm gonna take you guys through week seven of my ACL meniscus rehab. All right, let's get into it. All right, so what I've noticed since week one and what I've noticed since week seven is that my ACL meniscus and quad strength has gone way up right now. I have actually had a lot of strength and I've actually been able to push some weight up in the leg press and on all the exercise that I've been doing. And so for the format of week seven, it's gonna be exactly the same thing as week six, except the fact that I'm doing, so I'm just doing the same exact thing basically. There's really no, this is week seven and right now, I've noticed my quad is getting back to where it was and that I noticed I'm gonna get back to where I will be eventually. So week seven, nothing really changes a lot. And that's what basically week seven is. It's just the same thing. Just continue to do the exercises and just don't forget to do the first, the week one exercise that I showed you guys in the first video and you'll be fine. Just do all those exercises and do the, continue to do the new ones I showed you guys. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. But I know some of you guys have different PTs, but right now that's what I'm gonna be doing is what my PT said. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for week seven. It's gonna be exactly the same thing. Split it up into three times daily for the week one exercises. I'll pop them up on the screen here. And for the other exercises, I'll be doing those three times every week to incorporate my quad strength and get it back to where I was. Also, what I've noticed is that my extension and my, my, my bending of my knee in flexion is really great actually. I can now extend my knee fully and along with my bending is more than 120 which is a great sign i actually tested that last last pt section session which was great so that's what i want to update you guys on for week seven is that my knee can fully extend and my knee can fully bend so and some of you guys are wondering should you continue to do extension and bending exercises and should you continue to do that? The answer is yes, you should because the reason that I made a mistake is that once I noticed that my extension and bending was getting better, that's when I started to just like not do it often. And that was a big mistake because as you guys know, I had to go back into surgery at the same time as my shoulder labrum tear. And that's when they had to manipulate my knee continue to do the extension and the uh, flexion exercises because if you don't do them consistently like three times daily that I have to do then you're only going to hurt yourself because and also your scar tissue can play a role if you're not doing all those exercises also and that's what made a mistake because I had to go back under as you guys already know so the answer is you need to be doing those exercises the extension with the weight and you need to be doing the bending exercises in flexion because that's gonna make sure your knee is good to go and it's gonna prevent you from getting and building up that scar tissue that is not great for your knee at all. It just hurts you because if you get too much of that, you're gonna have to do this, what I did and go back into surgery and get that manipulated or else you're not gonna not be able to bend your knee fully and they kind of, it sucks. So definitely don't make the mistake I made and definitely continue to do those extension and flexion exercises because it will, it plays a role in getting rid of that scar tissue. Cause I've noticed my, that my scar tissue is, is still, you can see it's, you can see it's pretty puffy. And also one more tip for week seven is you think something's wrong with your knee and you hear like a lot of cracking because that's what I normally I normally think is that and I normally feel that when I walk my ACL and meniscus pops and honestly if you think 
it's actually not a bad idea and it's not really a bad it's not a bad thing at all the only problem is is it every time I extend and bend my knee I, I notice that the cracking becomes just heavily and way more so and honestly it's not a in my experience it's not like I feel cracking a lot but it does if it hurts then that's a problem but for me it does not hurt at all which is a good sign it just it's annoying so if you guys think something's wrong with your knee it's not it's just the bone rubbing against the other bone and so that's what I've been experiencing is just the cracking but other than that my ACL in meniscus feels pretty good just keep if you guys are involved in an ACL meniscus tear and experiencing it like I am to make sure you're doing those exercises and keep up the extension and flexion exercise because they will help you all right guys I'm gonna wrap up the video here hope you enjoyed that make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and comment down below if you guys are experiencing an ACL meniscus tear or an ACL injury and let me know down in the comments below all right guys see you in the next one gains out